Uh, so, uh, I have been trying to think of the perfect caption words or whatever I could put together to express just how sad I am to hear about what happened uh, with Kobe because as someone who, uh, you know, grew up here in LA, um, watched the career of him as a basketball player and, you know, looked up to him like we all did, you know, we all looked up to Kobe. Um, but also like wanted to be like Kobe. You know, here's a guy that's the same age as me and basically is a year older than me, but just grew up watching all the amazing things he did. But then to learn about the work ethic, um, just how dedicated he was to be the best basketball player that he could be uh, but also just how much he how much he loved the game and how he pushed himself and how you know the countless hours that he would spend on being the best and you know yeah he's a basketball player but you know, those are things that can translate to your everyday life, to pursuing a career in any field. Uh, you know, reading the book Relentless that I read by Tim Grover that, you know, who was his trainer, who talks about how he would get phone calls at 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. to go train with him and, you know, hearing how much he put into his craft it inspired me to go out and you know put that much effort into my craft and for someone I never met to be so upset to be so touched by someone I never met it just goes to the power of you know sports as you know as just an escape you know, like we, we root for, for these teams and for these athletes. And, you know, for some people, it's just, you know, three hours or two hours where they can forget about their lives and kind of just admire these people and like just everything that I know about his work ethic and how much he inspired and how much he gave to the organization and the city of Los Angeles and to his daughters and you know, to his family. And it's just really sad for me because, because I'm, I know people that worked with him and, you know, like I said, even though I don't, I never met him, I feel this connection because of just everything that he gave and how we just kind of just got to witness and you know, be spectators in what was his career and his life. And it's really sad for me. And as someone who's been through stuff, you know, I'm always going through things. You know, sports is important to have an escape for some people. And just goes to show you how important life is and how you need to cherish everybody that's here because you just never know when your time is up or when someone's time is up. So, yeah, I think you guys should all just read about how much he put forth into everything and, you know, apply that to your lives because I know I do. And a lot of my work ethic is was learned just from learning about him. So... That's that. Um, rest in peace, Kobe. You touched a lot of us. And uh, it's a sad day.